Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. This a squirrel? My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? <laughs> this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Back off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. <laughs> Cradles are kind of lost there. That's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Path split like branches of fusion. Alpine weights. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough. Please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Wait, we're fighting the elves now? You know, you know what we did before, right? We had like safety guys. Yeah, I was about to say. follow once we're inside. Is there truly no one there? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. 
but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Follow me, friends. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. <laughs> Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does that sometimes. <laughs> oh, curious mind. Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? to return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are safe, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. Twilight Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain? <laughs> More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh. Maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here, get back. Here. Get back. Left flank. Look, he did a little stomp. Get back into it. Incoming! Oh. Oh. 
Get it now. Why do they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alpha. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, it's out. Being that many enemies, you know. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freya not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freya? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end.
going to that. There we go. The shield moved. That looks right. Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartkov. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Go! Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered the mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Chris. Well done. At your service. Oh, the fight of Alfheim. I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. Oh, we definitely were here last so, time. Did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Oh. Uh, he can hear him again. Her. He can hear her again. Father, she's... she's gone. <laughs> he said that before. He told Atreus that, and now Atreus is telling him.
We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this Hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Hmm. Deep stuff.